Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today's video we're going to go over the patch notes for tomorrow's update. So tomorrow's update is a pretty small patch. Uh, they're only really adding a final boss, sorry, on Tommy back, but this is a duo final boss. What this means is just those two, there's no other like side guys or anything like last time. For example, last time uh, we had Cyril by himself and then Tommy by himself as well. But this time it's a duo boss, there's no side guys. Uh, I'll have a video out tomorrow going over, you know, what Stry use, points, all that kind of stuff. Uh, but also, uh, the JP livestream is also tomorrow as well, which is kind of weird, but I'm pretty sure that's because there's a holiday in Korea on Wednesday or Thursday, so they're just trying to, uh, you know, do the live stream early so they can achieve a live stream for it. Um, also, the update is coming out on Thursday still, so we'll find out tomorrow what the character is and all that kind of stuff, and then on Thursday, we'll have the character to play with, pretty much, on JP, of course. Um, once again, there is a challenge mode, which is kind of, going to be kind of horrible. There's both of them. I remember both of these bosses being horrible. Uh, green Sariel, when you end up fighting Green Sariel, uh, it just ends up healing every time you crit. If you crit Green Sariel, crit you back. Four heals, pretty much. Stupidly broken. Uh, hard, extreme, and hell difficulties, of course, with Challenger as well. Challenger difficulty is normally the one where you get the most points and also allows you to buy specific items from the shop, which is probably what you want to do. Uh, top 5%. Yeah, these are just all the rewards. So mainly you want to be got, uh, getting top 50% because that's where you get the Sariel outfit. Uh, the Tommy outfit can only be bought in the shop and the Sariel one can be bought... Oh, no, it can't be bought. Sorry, we have to get top 50%, which isn't too hard. Normally nowadays, you can probably do extreme... Oh, sorry, you can probably do hell and get like enough points to get top 50% top because this is out of all the players that, of course, participate. So, of course, it's going to be a lot of new players or people who just do it once just can't be asked. But... You know, you mainly want to be going for that top 50%, so you get the 5 diamonds from here, 30 diamonds from here, 35 diamonds, as well as the outfit if you do not have it already. If you do have the outfit, you probably just want to be going for top 50% anyway. Actually, you can just get for top 60% now. Get 30 diamonds, plus that, which gives you another 5. But yeah, it's not too bad. Of course, the higher you go, the more you get, but then after you've reached, like, here, the difference between here and here is, like, nothing. What's it, like, 3 SSR pendants? That's absurd. You get only 3 extra SSR pendants. It's not, it's not worth the stress of going that high. So mainly, if you are someone like me who's been playing for a while, you probably want to go for top 10%. If you want to, you can push for 5 for the extra 3 pendants. I don't think that's really worth it, but that's what I would do. Once again, the completion rewards, another 8 diamonds. Not too bad. You can buy the Sorrel and Tarmiel uh, cards, which is nice as well. Uh, you can also turn the expensive ones into the cheap ones, and the cheap ones into the expensive ones. You can buy... Two pieces of the time mail outfit with the cheap coins and one with the expensive coins as well. I'm pretty sure the, they, these cost 60, the cards cost 100 a pop. That's what they did when they first came out, but they may have changed it because there are two cards to get this time. Uh, that's it. Da, 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 da. They just say that the uh, outfits may come up, come back later, is what they say. Uh, and then you got the normal Force Ultra stuff. So this is a very small update, but of course we are getting the first rag fest sometime. Well, tomorrow we'll find out. So, yeah, it does look not too bad. Uh, hopefully, well, my guess is they're going to add a new Ragnarok-themed event, maybe the uh, Demonic Beast thing that was leaked quite a while ago, which was like, uh, you verse uh, birth and deer and then dogs. Like, floor one is uh, deer, floor two... No, sorry, sorry, floor one is bird, floor two is deer, and floor three was dogs. And that was something that was leaked quite a while ago. It was a UI, so it wasn't just like a, a few icons it was a natural full ui that was missing of course some textures in the background but uh hopefully i'm guessing we should get it here as they have removed tower and they just said they'd be adding new content to replace tower which we haven't gotten yet so this is the update i hope we do get it it does make sense but yeah uh, just keep saving your diamonds and i'll find out what the festival is tomorrow and i'll have a video out probably sometime in the early morning my time which is of course gmt so Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next one. Goodbye.